Hey guys, hopefully you have already done the how to draw eyes and how to draw nose video. So if you've already done those, go ahead and pull out the sheet that you've been working on for the last couple of videos. And we're gonna add a mouth to it today. We're gonna do step by step, follow along with me. All right, so we're gonna add a mouth now to our face. I'm gonna look up how to draw these. So your mouth is not going to be halfway between the bottom of your nose and the bottom of your chin. We've been halfway for the eyes, halfway for the nose. Is your mouth actually one third of the way between, that's pretty accurate, you might be a little bit higher, between the bottom of your nose and the bottom of your chin. Of course, I'll show that to you. So I'm gonna go here for one third, two third, three third. So you wanna make it one third, this middle line is what we're drawing when we draw that line. Your mouth is one third between the bottom of your nose and the bottom of your chin. In this line that we are drawing, I'm gonna go ahead and let go most of the way across. Put one third. It's gonna represent the center of your lips. So right between your two lips at the center of your mouth. Now, your mouth, your lips in general are gonna go from the center of your eyeball down. It's gonna be the edge of each lip. Now, obviously, if you're smiling really wide, you're gonna widen up. If you're making a sea face or a strange face, they're gonna get smaller. But if you're just a neutral looking forward with no expression on your face, that this is how wide your eyes are, or your mouth, sorry, is going to be. It's from outside of the center of each eyeball. Um, we will look in a little while about drawing smiles and different facial expressions. So again, I'll show you, and it's a little difficult to do um, while talking, but hopefully you can see that from the, my mouth, side of my mouth all the way up, should be the center of my eyeball. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. We're not looking at smiling, just as a normal neutral expression. So I'm gonna go above here and I'm gonna draw what I call a, a smiley. This is gonna be just a small smiley. It is not a U. So you do not want it to look as if you drew a U here. You want it to just be a small smiley. And below, I want to draw what I call a big smiley. And again, I don't want it to be a U. And if I draw it way down here, it's going to look funny. Just right below, and draw a big smiley. Then, I'm going to kind of curve above. Remember, if we do something on the right side, we do it on the left because we want them to look the same. Curve above. And then, come on down to that corner of your mouth and on the top we're going to kind of curve over to that corner so we're going to kind of invert it just a little bit to that corner and then I want you to look in the mirror or look at someone near you and notice their lips their top lip is going to be darker than their bottom lip so we're going to dark up the center line, so that's going to be the darkest spot. And it probably comes down a little bit, for most people it does. Then we're going to start to shade the top lip. You really need a blending stump or something small to get in there and shade it. And on the bottom lip, I'm really going to shade from the edges and around the bottom. And I'm gonna leave a space in the middle that I did not shade. And then when I go in my blending stump, I'm gonna real lightly just kind of gloss over that. So most people have a highlight right there in the center of their lip. So that allows me to add that highlight there. And it's just a really basic, really easy, straightforward lips. We'll look in just a second on how to draw them if they are smiling. All right, so what if our mouth is smiling? Again, that's gonna be something that's gonna be a little different with each person, but we're gonna go ahead and look at what roundabout that's going to look like. And we wanna start out with just leaving the opening of that mouth. So if somebody is smiling in general, they're gonna have kind of this Round it out. Shape from the inside of their mouth. And we will just kind of leave that where it is and pick it up in just a few minutes. Now, on the top lip, you still kind of want to have that come down. 
and it's going to lift up a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of have that lift it up. The bottom lip is going to big. It's gonna kind of stretch thinner as it gets towards the top of that mouth. It's gonna be a little bit different shape there. Let's get this a little more towards the middle. And then we're going to look at drawing teeth. Now the problem with teeth is that everybody wants to draw individual teeth and feel like they look really weird, and they usually do. So what you really need to do is draw where that gum is. So we're just gonna kind of outline some of these teeth. I'm gonna get a little bit smaller as they go back. And they usually kind of tend to disappear around in here. Make sure you put the same number on each side. So there's my middle line. One, two, three, on each side. So one, two, little third one. Put a little bit more right there. Okay. And then we're going to just draw the bottoms of those teeth. Need you or even want you to put in between each two. It's where it looks kind of like you're wearing braces or it just starts to look a little bit odd. And I need to kind of clear up this area. Okay, so see the tops of those teeth and the bottoms of those teeth. Then if you're able to see, in the top part of these teeth. They're really not going to curve, they're going to go straight across until they run into that lip. Okay. And then in between is going to be shaded pretty dark on the edges. It's usually going to get a little bit lighter because you probably got your tongue somewhere in the middle. Shade in the gums. And like with many things, I'm going to blend it in and kind of pull in some of that graphite with that blending stuff. Okay. Now, on this lip. I'm going to shade it similar to how I've shaded many of my other lips. Let it get a little bit lighter as it gets towards the middle. Kind of shade underneath it and shade on each side of the lip. And leave kind of a highlighted area right there in the middle. And the same thing on the top, we're going to darken up the edges. I know I've said this several times and I'm going to keep saying it. Every single mouth, every single eyes, nose, every body looks unique. So you really have to pay attention to who you're drawing. These are general guidelines. For example, when I smile, you don't see my bottom teeth. But many people you do and that's how we drew them and the ones that we just worked on. If you're drawing someone and they smile and you don't see the bottom teeth, don't draw them. Draw what you see, not what you think you see, not what you know is there, but truly what you see. These are guidelines to help you, not rules to live and die by. Have fun, keep creating.